You're blurry right now. <laughs> you need to take your glasses off, then. But then I see better when I look at this. <laughs> you look like Sasquatch from Blurry. Oh, thanks. Photo. Just because you're blurry, not because you're not hairy. The, not from the Peterson footage. That's true. But that was just a man with a big tit suit you on. You don't know that. It was a female <laughs> Sasquatch. Hello. Uh, hello. And welcome to... Spicy Meatball! Or just Meatballs, the video podcast. You're not happy with that? No. We've been back and forth with this many, many times, and we've decided Meatballs. <laughs> just Meatballs. Not, not, not spicy bone. Meatballs, no. Oh. Just Meatballs. <clears throat> meatball bags? Well, no, this is just getting silly. Testy ball. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Meatballs. <laughs> Where we find out the wackiest, weirdest stuff on the World Wide Web that we can find. Yes. And tell you all about it. Yes, and we are hoping to do this once a month. So it gives us time to actually get some stories together. And then... um, As you can see on the screen somewhere, follow us on Twitter at snuff underscore club. Hashtag meatballs. Send us all your links and comments and whatnots. Yep. And subscribe and like if you like this. Yep. There'll also be a link to the YouTube channel where you know, you're already watching it on YouTube you're anyway. Watching it on, hopefully <laughs> you're watching it on YouTube. <laughs> yes. So. Click on the channel for more videos, even though we don't have any more videos. No, but when we do have more videos, videos, then you'll be able to watch them. Anyway, should we jump straight into the internet? Let's jump straight in. Give us what you've got. Okay. First of all, we've got conspiracy. Uh oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Just so you know, I came with a came down with a cough yesterday, so I apologise ahead of time for any <laughs> grotesque noises that I may make. <coughs> okay. So I'll just jump straight in. Yeah, just jump straight in. A conspiracy theorist says he has proved that the Earth is flat after taking a spirit level onto a plane. <laughs> now, um, so I'm just going to say there's a lot of red flags straight away with that. <laughs> <laughs> with that, just okay. If you didn't know, this in the 21st century, 2017 the year of our lord there are people who believe that the earth is flat still and they're trying their hardest to prove it <laughs> and they take things like the recent eclipse this and say that that proves that the earth is flat how can you prove that the earth is flat from an eclipse you can't yeah but how could you even try and link those two I don't know because I'm not that <laughs> retarded but somehow they do right so American flat earther American, because that's what they tend to be. They don't need to have American and Flat Earther separate, really. No. <laughs> Yankee Flat Earther, <laughs> D. Marble, who describes himself as a realist. A realist. <laughs> he uses logic. Was confident that a pilot would have to dip the nose of an airplane to compensate for the curvature of the Earth if the world was really a sphere. He filmed himself with a spirit level on a flight from North Carolina to Seattle, which we worked out is pretty much the length of the US. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, from East Coast to West Coast. To see if the bubble would move, and has argued the fact that it didn't move must mean that the world is entirely flat and not a spinning ball, <laughs> quote-unquote. Right. Okay, so... It's really easy to jump onto the joke that D-Marble hasn't got all his fucking marbles. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be fair, he clearly doesn't. <laughs> but, um, okay, let's let's break this down for a minute. So, oh, hold on, just one second. Okay. In the YouTube video he made, D-Marble encourages other flat earthers to buy a spirit level from their local hardware store <laughs> and join his experiment. Okay. Which is good, because he's a true scientist. You have to vary the, the experiment. Does he work for a spirit-level company and he's just trying to get more sales? I actually never thought about that. <laughs> because <clears throat> we've spoken about this before. We had a quick discussion about this, didn't we? Yeah. Now, we worked out, obviously, like you said, that's from basically from one side of uh, the US to the other. 
Yeah. But then we looked at it on the scale of, well, if the Earth was a really small sphere... Yeah. Then his argument may be correct, in a way. Yeah. That they would have to dip the nose. But then it would still be relative to where it would yeah, be. Yeah, which so is, yeah. So it would orbit flatly. Yeah. Anyway, so we kind of we kind of looked at this and thought, well, there's not one slight scientific scientific uh, credit <laughs> there, is there? I mean, you see, take the size of a plane, <laughs> the, s- the size of the circumference of the world, with vastly yeah. different figures. Yeah. So. I'm not really sure that I, 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 he must work for a spirit level company. He must do. It doesn't say what he does. Well, he's not going to come out and say I work for a spirit level company. Um, no, no, in no. the advertising department. In this, Marvel, the best he's way. happy with his results. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> he got what he wanted. And not being funny, but if you've ever used spirit level, <laughs> right? If you've ever used spirit level, a few people out, out there as well. If you hold a spirit level in your hand and go like this, you're going to move the bubble. <laughs> so if you're up in a plane and you slightly go like this, then yes, it's going to dip. Yeah. So what and does I'm that prove? I'm pretty sure that in the cockpit of an aeroplane, they have a roided up version of a spirit level that keeps the plane level and the cut cu- the customers, the passengers content and happy yeah because if you were constantly <laughs> like this you'd be going ah! just looking at the scene all fucking time or Detroit <laughs> so uh, go on no there you go at the end of the video and while still on board the aeroplane he gives the camera a knowing look <laughs> and whispers <laughs> it's flat the earth is flat <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's... Wow. I can't believe... Oh, there you go. I'll just turn this. This is his fucking look. No, I can't really. I'll put it over the... Yeah. Cut that bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, should I just go do another one? Yeah, do another one. Just, just, just keep, keep letting it flow. Oh, the, it's, while we're on the theme of airplanes... Yeah. We'll segue into another airplane story. Okay. Once this decides to move. Filler. Warm up your voice (laughs) for radio. (sighs) Okay. Now this one is slightly more balmy. Okay. Oh my god. There's so many pop-ups on these fucking pages. This is Huffington Post. The last one was the Daily Mirror. Oh, are we are we linking everything, are we? We can do so people can find it if they want to read it. Okay, we can. Okay, all right, yeah. A passenger on a Chinese flight... Oh, you wanker. That was one of my stories. <laughs> <laughs> That's gone. I'll, I'll let you... You do it, then. No, I've, no, just you... clo- I've closed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> A passenger on a Chinese flight threw coins into a plane. It would be funny if it wasn't the same one. You went, oh, damn it! (laughs) A passenger on a Chinese flight threw coins into a plane engine in an apparent attempt to bring about good luck. Now, if you didn't think that was an oxymoron, I don't know what is. (laughs) Throw cash at it! (laughs) The 80-year-old passenger reportedly made the offering... (laughs) <laughs> like it's a god. <laughs> like the plane is a god. <laughs> Please. China Southern Aircraft's huge engine was boarded on Tuesday. Uh, There's a handful of coins, though, as well. I wonder what currency it was. I'm guessing it was yen. Not yen, sorry, that's Japanese. Uh, dong, is it? Yeah, it must be. It just says coins. <laughs> I just really she like... later admitted to police she had thrown the coins... <laughs> As she prayed for safety. Was this like the first time on an aeroplane 
This is the I first time know. that she's ever seen an aeroplane. Let's have a look. Because if there's one thing that you don't want failing when you're up in the air, it's the engine that you've just thrown loads yeah. and loads of coins the into. The woman who was travelling with family, she had family that <laughs> let her throw <laughs> coins into a fucking plane engine. Maybe she was at the back of the line. Maybe her Maybe, family yeah. didn't see her throw them in. She's called Q. According to Q's neighbour, she believes in Buddhism. Or he. Oh, it's woman, yeah. She. <laughs> Took five hours. What, to get the coins out? Yeah, to get, well, to get the journey on the way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, <coughs> that's some good luck right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, now you've spoiled one of my stories. Go on then, your turn. Okay, go on a com- complete different tangent. Uh, the Museum of London. Right. Uh, they are going to uh, display chunks of a, uh, what they call a fatberg. <laughs> now, if anybody doesn't know what a fatberg is, basically it's all like like the fat and nappies and shit and everything oh. that gets clogged up in a sewer. In London, in London, well. yeah. So there are people that have to go underneath into the sewers and break these down because it becomes as hard as concrete, <laughs> right? So, so it blocks up like the the channels of the sewers and that. So, yeah, for some unknown reason, I I actually don't know why, but the Museum of London want to display some of this. It's one hundred and thirty tons. One hundred thirty tons of fat, tons and, of fat and, and shit. Yeah, and wet wipes. Fucking hell! Oil, fat, nappies, and wet wipes. Uh, people are flushing <laughs> nappies down the toilet. <laughs> Do people flush anything down the toilet. Fucking Londoners, man. Um, and you got a wheelie bin. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, so the dis- the disgusting blockage is currently being removed from the Victorian sewer by Thames Water, with workers with high-powered hoses to break it down before it's sucked out of the tunnel. The thing about this is, though, they want to they want to be able to to display it, but they have no idea how they're going to. <laughs> <laughs> because, let's be fair. How do you display something like that? Because if it gets too hot, it's going to start. Start melting. Yeah, oh, that's true. And really it smelling would have to bad. Be temperature control. Yeah. Get someone from the Tate Modern to sculpt it <laughs> yeah. into like the Statue of David. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. To be fair, I'm not really sure that's why they want to. That's fucking disgusting. Uh, okay. Okay. I have a reason why they want to display it. Okay. So the di- the director of the Museum of of London uh, thinks that it would raise questions about how we live today and inspire our visitors to consider solutions to the problems of growing metropolises. All I'd do is go in there and go, that's just fucking disgusting. Shit, fat, oil and (laughs) nappies. You've got like a 3,000 year old (laughs) Egyptian papyrus. And then you've got a Roman spear, a chunk of London (laughs) fucking... (laughs) Shit. <laughs> it's like but it's modern art man it's modern oh, art god oh dear <laughs> no so yeah that is uh, that is what modern society has come to my friend so gross and speaking of gross 15 teens and children treated for rabies after gang raping an infected donkey <laughs> There's, I'll put the picture up. There's a really cute, innocent picture of a donkey standing <laughs> up on the cliffside. It's ready to, it's ready to jump, sad. man. It's yeah. ready to jump. It's had enough. It's had fifteen dicks right through it. It's not, it's not happy. <laughs> right, from a small town, small rural town in Morocco, they've been treated for rabies after reportedly gang raping an infected donkey. The youngsters aged seven to fifteen. Seven, Seven years, years old. old. You know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to fuck a donkey. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when I was seven years old, I was just playing, I don't know, computer games. You know what I was really into at seven years old? What's that? And it wasn't rape. <laughs> it was Mighty Max. <laughs> I don't remember seeing any donkey rape in Mighty Max. I never stuck my dick in a Mighty Max playset either. <laughs> oh, dear. Actually, that would really hurt. 
There's quite quite a few sharp. <laughs> Nearly sharp every fingers. single hole on a Mighty Max set has got teeth on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so, so they were man. rushed to hospital after discovering the animal had the disease, according to local reports. The youths from a small tribal group spent a week at the Mekra Belsiri Hospital while the donkey was killed to prevent further people being infected. <laughs> see, see. See, that's the problem with the human race. You that is the human. That's all the problem. fucking think it's right. <laughs> the, that is the problem with the human race because it's never our fault. So that's not. What the, did they kill the donkey? <laughs> that's not the fault of the people that raped it. No, no, no. The it's the donkey's donkey fault for rabies. having rabies in the first place. That's like um, uh, what was the name of that gorilla that got shot? Harambe or Harambe, something like that. Yeah, yeah, whatever it was. I mean, why is it the gorilla's fault that some kid decided to chuck himself in his the enclosure? What the fuck was the family doing? Exactly. Now, this may be controversial, but I'm going to say it anyway. Gorillas are somewhat in danger, I believe. Yeah, or well, their, silverbacks are, yeah. at least. The human race isn't. <laughs> that family <laughs> That family could have just gone and made a new baby. <laughs> It wasn't that new. Exactly. I mean, like <laughs> they probably still had insure. They probably still had the warranty ex- for it. Exactly. So I mean, like if they like shot that instead, or shot him yeah. instead, what's the big deal? Honestly, though, how does a baby get into a gorilla exhibit? Don't ask me. It's clearly, the parents. <laughs> Unless it's like in a field surrounded by like, a white picket fence. Yeah. There's no way that their parents were paying any attention to this no. child whatsoever. It's like the macads, you deserve it. <laughs> yeah, but hasn't that basically been proven that they killed them time and time they, again? Yeah. Well, even if they didn't, they did, because they left a fucking whatever she was, four, six-year-old in a hotel room by herself. But who, is she dead? Who does this? Is she, is she dead? I don't really care. <laughs> as long as the McCanns... Are, as long as the McCanns didn't single-handedly do it and are suffering, I don't care. So, obviously, the families of the 15... 15 young people! I said, uh, yeah, he got raped. Hang on. Just going back to this story. How, right. I haven't even got 15 friends. <laughs> but I have... A friend that's in this room. <laughs> this is our circle of friendship. <laughs> the table of truth. Um, circle of trust. Yeah. Um, but if I did have 15 friends, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to convince every single Not one of them to, to all come and rape a donkey. Now, I don't know how many friends the gang leader it's, asked. Oh, darling, it's just jocular behaviour. Boys <laughs> I mean, maybe, boys. May, maybe he asked 100 people. And it says families of the 15 young people as well. Yeah, but uh, maybe it could be. Did they? <laughs> maybe that's why the donkey got shot, because he raped them. And then they, because you're a man, you the rapist. Maybe it was but are fifth. they all... Well, obviously, they're not say all boys, are they? they? No. So, Strap on? Maybe, but maybe they just... Maybe the, maybe the donkey got really hard while it was getting raped up the arse by one of the blokes that this one of the females just started riding its cock. Jane. They call it the Moroccan finger trap. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, apparently the, the, the um, families have reacted in distress and horror. Not because of the act. Oh, not okay. because of the right. act. Okay. After being mocked throughout the small town. In oh, the come on. Region. Come on. <laughs> of course you're going to get mocked. <laughs> Your son or daughter raped a donkey. Oh, and there's another beautiful picture of... Do- I can't believe they shot the donkey. Bastards. I bet they just chucked it in a ditch as well. I suppose you can't really eat a donkey with rabies. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just... Oh, the number of infections is feared to be much higher as some families reportedly took their children to hospitals outside the region to avoid humiliation. How many cocks has this donkey <laughs> taken? There's got to be a video out there somewhere of them doing it. There's got to be. You can't get a gang together like that and not film it because that's a special moment yeah, altogether. Especially in this that's... day and age. Yeah, so... Man, I... Let's have a moment of silence for the donkey. Okay. 
<laughs> you want to do another one or shall I jump on another one? Yeah, jump on another one. How about we do we we mix it up a little bit? Okay. And I'll we'll play you a little video. Okay. Now I was in a little bit of a YouTube hole. I was looking at chemtrails. Well, I wasn't looking at chemtrails. I was looking at broken people looking at chemtrails. <laughs> if you don't know what chemtrails are, basically a lot of strange broken individuals think that the government, especially the US government, is spraying chemicals into the air to change the weather and to poison people and stuff. So when a, when a plane flies over and it has that white trail behind it, which is due to do with perspiration, I'm pretty sure. Condensation. Condensation, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> they believe that it's iron and... Oh. <laughs> the oh, the audio has already started. <clears throat> Prematurely, it's the US government playing this video. Like I said, there are no adverts in this video. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we're totally professional. This is not the first time we've done this. Um, yeah, so I stumbled on this fellow. Because um, basically, it's just people shouting at the sky. They look at the sky, and they're always like, they're spraying chemtrails <laughs> up there. It was a blue sky earlier. Do you see that right there? Oh, see? Do you see that? The fucking sun. All right, I got one, I got one question. Let me hold you right there. He's got one question. He's got one, just one. Yeah, and it, th there's this guy yelling at the sky, saying that the sky was blue a minute ago, and now there's chemtrails, and he's looking at clouds. Yeah. So I went on his channel, and he has a ton of videos. His name is Zeus Truth on YouTube. Oh, Go look him up. Gotta put truth in your name. He's got 12,000 subscribers. If you're a realist. Yeah, but they probably all believe in chemtrails. Yeah, probably. So I stumbled on this video, just the title um, did it. It's called... It's in all caps. Oh, he's shouting it. Why the hell is the sun so big? <laughs> and I will just, yeah, just carry it on for you. Why in the fuck does the sun look bigger? Why? It's probably some government fucking propaganda <laughs> shit. The government's probably enlarging it. It's probably what the fuck's going on. The fucking government is enlarging it. That's probably what's going on, people. I'm gonna put the phone down. It's like folks on driving. So don't be one of those dumbasses who was doing a live stream and got in a fucking wreck and killed herself. And her oh, fucking <laughs> that's the only worry you've got. One of those fucking dumbasses. But Put why is down. the moon bigger right now? It looks pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's not the moon, the sun. <laughs> this whole video, I think I've been saying the moon when I meant to say the sun. <laughs> wow. It could be the moon. You got your facts knows. right, but sir. Why does the sun look Speaking bigger? Speaking nothing but truth. Why? I mean, during the day, it doesn't look that big. The ironic But all of a sudden, it looks it big. And all of a sudden, at the same time, there's a bunch of smoke that's been going up the whole day, blocking out the damn sun. The bam, sun. So when you go outside, you can't get the full effect of the sun energy. It was like this yesterday, too. <laughs> Gotta have yesterday, my Yesterday, I went up out in the wilderness, <laughs> climbed up a mountain, Mount Pugue, uploaded some videos from that. Very beautiful day. Very beautiful out there in the wilderness. There was not any chemtrails. There were not any... There was not a bunch of fucking smoke out there. But all of a sudden, there's a bunch of fucking smoke. They say it's wildfires. Now, there are some wildfires going on. In fact, the other week, I went over to the mountains. You couldn't actually go around the mountains all right, all right. because the trail to it was closed because of wildfires. So please tell me why is all there's smoke? Why, why is there all this smoke all of a sudden? I thought you only had one question. In, it's coming out. Apparently, and why the fuck is the sun bigger? Why is the sun bigger? It's government propaganda <laughs> shit. That's what the fuck it is. Some government... Propaganda shit, some government involved he shit. What he was talking Basically, about. <laughs> they're trying to enlarge the fucking sun um, because they want to kill us all. I mean, if you know anything about the sun and its energy and its powers, anything you know about the, the, the it's cycle be so of stars, many more easy you know, ways to get kill older, they fucking the human race. In, not impl the, implode by enlarging they do the sun, or they crumble up and implode. I guess or turn into a black hole. I don't know. I don't know. You, you can do the research on it. I'm just going off what, what I was talking about. What are you doing some research? Schooling is just propaganda from government. So who knows? Maybe maybe that's just all bullshit they pull out of their ass. But let's maybe assume it's real because it probably is real ass. because they've had scientists witness it. And I mean, not everything. Okay, yeah, it keeps using the word propaganda wrong. <laughs> I don't think it knows <laughs> what propaganda is. How is making the sun bigger propaganda? <laughs> To make you hate the sun. What we will do is make the sun bigger! 
and then everyone will hate the Jews. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, I don't quite understand his logic behind. Like, like I said, there's got to be easier ways to destroy the human. And race. he's so angry. Well, he's obviously clearly been bullied in school. There's <laughs> chemtrails in the sky, the sun's so big. Why is there smoke? <laughs> <laughs> Science hurts my brain. So let us know what you think of Zeus Truth, or let him know personally if you like. Yeah, um, comment on his video. I am definitely going to watch some more of his videos, and so maybe we'll play a couple more next time. Maybe, maybe if this takes off enough, we may actually be able to call him and get him on on air. Oh, maybe. Yeah, see what he thinks. See what. He, <laughs> see what he's got to say for himself. <sighs> oh God. Okay, so would you like a funny story? Of course, always. Okay. Because these ones are all serious. Well, the donkey one was pretty serious. <laughs> yeah. Poor donkey. Don't fuck with the donkey. Okay, so. Girl hospitalised after being hit by a 105 mile per hour foul ball at Yankee Stadium. Fuck me. <laughs> 105 mile per hour, yeah. So for anybody that uh, doesn't know anything about baseball, uh, a foul ball is basically when the ball goes out of... Uh, fair t- uh, fair play area, mm-hmm. so it basically goes behind out of the, out of the, out of the diamond. Yeah. yeah, diamond. So, <clears throat> so I believe this girl was off, maybe to the right or to the left, and the batter swung his bat, obviously at a hundred and five mile per hour fastball, clipped the top of the the, the bat, and ricocheted and hit this girl in the face. Swing, bada, 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 bada. <laughs> Now, does it say that she was looking at her fucking phone? I believe she was actually really young. Would you be able to dodge that if you saw it coming? Do you think? No. How far away was she? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to right. picture it in my head. <clears throat> you, you see it come off the bat. I, I, I'd like to know if it, like, you'd be able well, to there's, there's, move. There's a... Um... There's a statement by the, the, okay. the dad. So I go, she was tweeting. <laughs> I thought of my kids. I have two kids under three years old and I just hope she's all right. Fraser told reporters after the game. This is the... The, 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 the batter. Bat. Yeah. I know the dad, whoever it was that was with them, was trying their hardest, but the ball's coming at 120 miles an hour at them and the ball's hooking. So he was trying not to laugh. He was fucking <laughs> laugh. Do you reckon he got the ball? Kept it. That's probably embedded in her face. So, so <laughs> if they didn't keep the ball, they're as mad as Zeus Truth. Because <laughs> that is a fucking keep the ball. You get that signed. Uh, so it's like, if you've never seen a ball like that, which most people haven't in the world, it's very tough to basically dodge. And it's a hard motherfucker as well. Oh, yeah, baseball's uh, hard as fuck. Uh, yeah, so the Yankees, they, they don't have protective netting down the baselines, mm. where obviously some of them do. They have it, like, directly behind, I believe. Yeah. Because that's where most foul balls will go, it's just straight behind. Like, catchers normally get it in the face and stuff, but obviously they have masks on. But, yeah, so this girl uh, is in hospital, or she was hospitalised, but I believe she's okay. Looking like sloth from the Goonies. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to bow. Now, if anybody else knows anything about baseball, they know it's a very long game. It can take up to, like, four hours for a Seriously? Game. Yeah. So what I'd be most be, be most pissed off is the fact that it took five minutes to deal with this child. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a delay oh, in the game. Oh, so, yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I suppose at least it gave people a chance to go get a hot dog and yeah, some beer. Yeah. Maybe some, you know... Some, have a piss. Some, yeah, have, yeah, take a piss. So. It'd be hilarious if nobody noticed. Yeah, and uh, so, yeah. What, what is this? That's why they say, keep your eye on the ball. It doesn't actually say how old she was. Which is a shame. I'm pretty sure she was quite a young girl. But yeah, so damn. <clears throat> there's your funny story for the podcast. <laughs> Depends which way you look at it, really. All right then. Let's see where this goes. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Professional as always. All right then. This is an article from Gizmodo.com. Yep. 
It's by a lady, so I'll read it as a lady. Okay. In character, okay? There are three things in life that I love. Sex toys, technology, and repurposing stuff in my home so that I can someday achieve my goal of breaking Etsy and slash or Pinterest with my doubtlessly charming Brooklyn-based craft projects. She's an English woman living in Brooklyn, I've just decided. (laughs) (laughs) That, my friends, is exactly why I decided to throw caution to the wind and stick my old Nokia 3310 into my vagina. Like everybody does. (laughs) (laughs) In the interest of full disclosure... It wasn't actually my old Nokia 3310, (laughs) but one of the fine folks at Gizmodo, the website that this article is on, (laughs) who were kind enough to provide to provide me when I came to them with a story in need of investigation. Okay. Okay. Women all over the globe, underlined in blue, (laughs) swear by the Nokia 3310 as a vibrator. The rumour recently resurfaced after agents of Ishk, a sex-positive site in India, surveyed 100 women and found many claimed that their old Nokia was the best tool for the job. Wait a minute, this they done research, market research for vibrators in India? Yes. I mean, I can't imagine the sex toy industry is massive over there anyway. That's why they've been using Nokia. <laughs> exactly. They have to have some use. Back in 2003, one software developer even made an app for the Nokia after he reportedly <laughs> witnessed a woman... What a brilliant man. <laughs> ...using her phone in a pub. In a pub? <laughs> At wow. the time, he Classy told lady. Wired, it's the only confirmed use I know of. She had a very pleasant time. <laughs> <laughs> she was noshing herself off in a pub with her own Nokia. In an effort to report this story out, she is. This is. She's not a good writer. In an effort to report this story out, I even spoke to a man brackets who prefers to remain anonymous brackets. You don't really know. Need to put that <laughs> brackets. <laughs> she already said back in two thousand three, one software developer made an app, but she doesn't say who it is. Who spent a portion of high school years trying to use his flip phone as a flashlight with less than what? ideal results. <laughs> Most of the admissions of phone sex occur on the internet where you'll find plenty of claims of people trying to use their phone to get off. But I was sceptical because, you know, a Nokia is a phone. It's a fine brick for what it is. You can play snake on it. You can play it. Or use it as a snake. Also, according to the box it came in, it has 32 polyphonic ringtones built in. (laughs) I did not sample any of these tones, but I did decide to find out once, if for all, a person can get off with one. For foreplay, I unpackaged the phone and was pleased to see that it had a large dust-resistant keypad. (laughs) It's important for your sex toys to have a keypad that's (laughs) dust-free. I don't think my vagina had any dust in it, let alone large dust. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> it's large dust. <laughs> that's, that's fluff. It's not... <laughs> but it's good to know that Nokia 3310, that the Nokia 3310 was thinking ahead of its time when it comes to grime protecting these suckers. It's not, it's an inanimate object. It doesn't think for itself. <laughs> The phone isn't waterproof, and while I had no plans to take it into the tub with me, I did allow myself some anxiety over what would happen if the phone electrocuted me during the act. (laughs) So she's she's using the phone bare, I'm assuming. You'd think she'd put it in something, like a food bag or a condom or something. Oh, clearly not. No, she's just going straight on with it. Uh, However, because I'm a plucky sex writer, I continued. If... Quote, if my mum is going to get a phone call about my sex toy induced death, let me live my life to its fullest, <laughs> unquote, I muttered. 
splaying my legs like I was at the gyno's office and making sure I had the phone at its maximum vibration setting. <laughs> While the Nokia 3310 might be designed f- to be comfortable when held to the ear, turns out that the ear is shaped a whole lot differently to the vagina. No shit. Unless your vaginal opening is shaped like a thin, perfect rectangle, insert the foam is not viable. <laughs> Consider the Nokia only if clitoral stimulation is your jam. That's exactly what that says. It's your jam. It's my jam. I stick that thing up my ass. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out a way to took me a while to figure out a way to grasp the phone and angle it in a way that felt anything other than like I was, you know, dry humping a literal cell phone. The other thing that took some time was figuring out how to keep the phone vibrating long enough to make my bits even tickle. (laughs) After about 30 minutes of what felt like playing find my phone only with my clitoris. Now, (coughs) I'm just going to jump in there and say, you can do that with a 3310. You try and do 30 minutes of constant vibration with a modern day mobile phone, and that's going to have died way before (laughs) then. The battery life is just awful now. Yeah, exactly. I realise if you go to your settings and scroll through your options for different vibration patterns, the phone will continue to vibrate in each pattern selected as a kind of preview. It will keep doing that until you press green for go. And go I did. (laughs) The position I settled on meant that the dimly lit screen illuminated my nethers, prompting my cat to attack my crotch. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> thinking, thinking I had been beset upon by some sort of alien hummingbird bent on sexual deviance. I'm sure that's exactly what the cat thought. Exactly what the cat thought. <clears throat> Once I kicked the cat out of the room, I got a handle on things and discovered that while ergonomics aren't its favour, the vibration was indeed powerful enough, with enough varieties on, of vibratory patterns to make orgasm possible. You lovely the only downside now I can't look the damn thing in the eye doesn't have any eyes (laughs) the Nokia's size long lasting battery and the fact that it is by design unidentifiable as a vibrator makes it appealing to the beginning right (laughs) makes it unidentifiable as a vibrator Uh, by its design, unidentifiable as a vibrator, makes it appealing to the beginning masturbator. This lady does not have a grasp on grammar. Well, it's not even that. It's why Why would the first thing that... Oh, I'm going to get myself off. I'm going to grab my phone. That wouldn't be the Sit first thing you ever thought on a washing machine. <laughs> Watch a cartoon. If you're nervous or skittish about going out to a sex shop... Or overwhelmed by the offerings of Jeff Bezos, whoever the fuck that is, then turning to an old phone found on eBay, not even your own. Oh old man, phone. You, oh, <laughs> somebody's probably already done that <laughs> with it. A... Yeah. <laughs> Imagine the amount of time someone has sat on the fucking toilet doing a fucking <laughs> diary and fucking vindaloo shit. It might help you achieve your masturbatory dreams. I could go on. I think you've said everything that needs to be said. Yes. Wonderful. Was that you or me? No, it's your phone, Stein. Oh, yeah, it's fine. These are the reasons you should use it as a vibrator. Okay. One, it doesn't look like a vibrator. (laughs) Two. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It doesn't look like a vibrator. So she's planning on using this in public places where people are going to see. I'm assuming. Or she's a very guilty soul. (laughs) Very self-conscious soul. Two, because it is not a vibrator, it is a phone. (laughs) Hang on, so you don't use the thing that's made for the purpose of what you want to do because it is what it is. Three, it buzzes nicely, but it's hard to charge. I'm assuming while you're buzzing yourself with it. Four, Also, you can use it as a phone. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a journey we've been on this oh, evening. Oh, man. I can't even begin to think straight anymore. <clears throat> have you exhausted your resources? I have one more. One more? Do I you want to hold off? I'll for hold it? off. Okay. You carry on. This is the funniest fuck one. A man claiming to have supernatural powers. No, no, no. no. Uh, okay. Sorry. A man claiming to have supernatural powers allowing him to control crocodiles has naturally been eaten by one. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so a man that claims that he has powers to control crocodiles yep. has now been eaten by a crocodile. Yeah. So he must have asked that crocodile to eat him, so therefore he got suicided. He didn't believe in himself. <laughs> <laughs> Shaman Sup- Suprianto, Suprianto died after a suspected crocodile attack in Kutai, Indonesia. It, this is where the story gets really funny. Jumping into the water, he was attempting to use his powers to locate the body of another victim, <laughs> a man called Ayuna. <laughs> While swimming and chanting, the shaman was dragged under the water as the reptile attacked. Police de- discovered Suprianto's body along with Ayuna's on Sunday. So technically, he did find the other body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah he, he, he done what he you know went out to do, but... Suprianto was found floating on the water at about 9.40pm after running out of oxygen. Oh. How did he run out of oxygen? Obviously the crocodile held him underneath. Yeah. This was, this was the region's third reptile attack since July and the fourth this year. Two so far have involved shamans. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. There you go. Maybe they should start realising that they can't control <laughs> crocodiles. Okay. Another conspiracy theory. Oh, brilliant. Doomsday is coming. Oh, no, it's not, is it? Yesterday. Are you talking about Nibiru? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Christian conspiracy theorist who believed that the Earth was ending, has now basically taken back what he said. (laughs) Has he spent all of his fucking money like the guy in 2012? Probably. Because he spent like $350,000. And then when the mine calendar ran out, nothing happened. Nothing happened. So I was talking to to the girlfriend, Joe, about this yesterday. Because it was men are come, it comes through the solar system every few, few thousand years. Yeah, but it was meant to be like too close or something, one and hit us or some some crap like this that. time. Yeah, because yeah. last time it came round, um, because it, apparently it's got aliens on it. It's got the tall whites or the nephilim or the reptilians or whoever on it. One of them. One of the last time it came round, they hopped off. They taught us how to build the pyramids, and they hopped back on and zoomed off out of the solar system. <laughs> okay, right. At the time before that, or the time before that, before that, they put us on Earth. Okay. When the Biru came through the solar system. Okay. So we were we were we were meant to be either it was meant to collide with us yesterday, or we were going to be visited. And neither and, happened. No, very disappointed. But not that we know of. That's we true. may have been visited, but we don't know. Yeah. Maybe they look just like us. Maybe they do. But well, well, that would make sense because if they put us here, I read a, a NASA article that okay. says NASA comments on Planet X theory, and it just said, "This is bullshit." <laughs> if it was there, we'd see it. <laughs> <laughs> they can see further than the galaxy. They can see other galaxies, but they can't but see, they this can't one see planet. planet X sneaking up behind the dark side of the moon, cloaked. Oh, it's fucking hologram, isn't it? Yeah, it's a hologram. It's fucking government propaganda. Okay, so apparently there is a passage in the Bible. Luke's passage 21, 25 to 26. Right. There's apparently a, a date that matches the great American solar eclipse 
when Hurricane Harvey hit and when Texas was flooded. Yeah. And it reads, there will be signs in the sun, moon and stars. <coughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> On the earth, nations will be anguished and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. This is why the Bible is full of shit. Because it is completely open to interpretation. Well, it's just vague as fuck, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's the same as horoscopes. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. Yeah. That could mean oh, anything. You're a Taurus. That means sometimes you're a bit upset. And then other times you're happy. Really? Yeah. Fucking people. So on the subject of NASA and space, did you hear about Voyager 1? I did not hear about Voyager 1. NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft is one of the universe's only unproblematic favourites. For over 39 years, it's been cruising along in space, flying by Saturn and the Kuiper Belt, doing nothing but beaming back beautiful photos and scientific research. Not CGI composites. <laughs> CGI composites, CGI man. CGI composites, man. The Earth is flat. It's photoshopped. Chemtrails. Chemtrails. Now the intrepid spacecraft skirting serenely in interspe- interstellar space. This is written a lot better than... <laughs> than the last article. I've got the phone in my vagina. <laughs> or I tried to, but it was too square. <laughs> is being bombarded with requests for nudes, the alleged Trump P tape, and least predictably, questions about people's dads. Okay. For context, this September marks the big 40th birthday for Voyager 1, which means it remembers the time before the internet, so it couldn't tweet lewd demands at the Pope or look up Lemony Snicket's real identity. So as Voyager's anniversary approaches, NASA is celebrating by asking the public to share messages for the wholesome spacecraft using the hashtag message to Voyager. One lucky winner's message will be beamed into the space probe, which is nearly 13 billion miles from Earth. This, predictably, was a mistake. (laughs) Here's one. Fuck me, daddy. Hashtag message to Voyager. (laughs) This is why you shouldn't allow people to use the internet. (laughs) Hashtag message to Voyager. Send me the P-tape for research. Hashtag message to Voyager. Send nudes. Hashtag message to Voyager. Where do I go to get weed? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, this one's a bit weird. A little local. Hashtag message to Voyager. I miss her beautiful feet. It's a bit sad and (laughs) lonely. Hashtag message to Voyager. You said that you would buy cigarettes but never came back. <laughs> this one's quite nice. It just says poop. <laughs> Hashtag Voyager. <laughs> yeah. So what kind of things were NASA actually expecting? I have no idea. Because what would you want to beam up there? I don't know. I don't. I don't really see the point of it. Well, no, because it's not exactly going to broadcast or anything, is it? Sure. No, it's just a fucking. It's just, I guess, for the winner. Just to say that you've had your the message glory in space of or something like that. Some words being thirteen million <coughs> it's billion. Th- it's thirteen billion miles miles away. Yeah. So, obviously, they beam that. Now, if there is any aliens and they intercept that, <laughs> they get, fuck me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, we are here to fuck. <laughs> fuck daddy. I am daddy and I am here to fuck. <laughs> but my real name is Clagzorf. <laughs> black, oh, black, 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 black. Oh, you may dude. call me daddy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, sticking with America. Yeah. Uh, there's one thing that's very synonymous with America. And that's guns. <laughs> so, the article and headline is Florida man sits on gun, accidentally shoots self in dick. <laughs> 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 right. 
<laughs> I really wasn't expecting dick at the end of that sentence. That's brilliant. So, <laughs> basically, this guy, <laughs> I think I believe he was eight years old. Oh no, sorry, thirty-eight years old. Um, uh, yeah, so he he went to sit in the driver's seat of his Nissan Altima. It was on the seat of his car. Yep. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> fucking hell, <laughs> obviously went off. And uh, he ran into his house in total panic. <laughs> Does it say what type of gun it was? Uh, I believe it was just a pistol. See <laughs> <laughs> you fucking strolling uh, on out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right back inside. The best thing about this story, though, <laughs> the best thing about this story is. Uh, He's a convicted felon, felon, but he actually uh, is potentially facing charges relating to the possession of the firearm in the first Shit, place. Yes, yeah, because <laughs> felons aren't allowed yes. to firearms. So he shot himself <laughs> in a dick, and he's going back to prison. <laughs> Dickless. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to be daddy when he gets into jail. No. Uh, oh fucking hell, poor man. Uh, Would you like to hear some audio? Let's. Now, there's a little bit of backstory to this. Okay. As soon as it comes up. This is off a podcast I listen to, and it's just too good to pass up. Okay. It's a gentleman. A gentleman called Lord Rael. Lord Rael. He's from Chicago. Okay. He's an ex-felon. Okay. He went to jail for putting his wife's face into the concrete. Okay. He disappeared and reappeared as Lord Rael. He's from Chicago. Chicago. I don't know if I mentioned that. He's from Chicago. (laughs) And this is the YouTube video. Lord Rael. While we get into this, it's obviously Christian, religious. <clears throat> I feel like I'm being touched by an angel in the places. <laughs> Test me on the shrivel pole. There's lots of Bible quotes coming up, which I shan't believe in. I'm sure we can probably get yeah, this there's no, there's, it's just a picture of him, there's no actual video. And out of his mouth goeth the shark. Well, I'll do it like him. And out of his mouth, <laughs> and he shall rule there with a rod of iron. That's a terrible Chicago accent. I don't know how to do Chicago. Chicago. Pizza. <laughs> they do Chicago. Ooh, here we go. They do, they do Chicago town pizza. Dick dish. I can't, I don't know Chicago accent. His face has appeared. Get ready. Okay. My children. (laughs) I am Rael. Okay. I am your king, and I am your lord. And I have arrived, as promised, to reclaim the throne of my father. Just as my sun now rises, so too does the Son of God rise to redeem humanity. My children, this shall not be pleasant, for the harvest has begun. He's from Chicago. As has your judgment. (laughs) Know this Knew what this. must be done must be done <laughs> must I shall remove all evil from the kingdom and those of my choosing will reign with me in peace and love forever forever <laughs> my father's breath is already upon you He's as never before you are feeling your lands move the water rising 
in the gust of his nostrils laying waste to your embankments, he will Gosh, be nostrils. here soon. It's a little bit Chicago came in there. I shall judge the nations. I shall decide who will be spared. Who will be spared? There is no defense for what is coming. Your armies will die. <laughs> will die. Your aerial forces will crash and burn. Your siege walls, your ramparts, will fall as if they were constructed with ether. And worse, those that take up arms against us will burn for their transgressions. Trans if you've been given to lead men, to lead a nation, bend your knee now, beg forgiveness and mercy for yourself and for those you lead. Swear fidelity to the crown, and perhaps mercy will be granted. Or simply wait for my father's arrival. It be blotted out as if you and your people and your lands never people. existed. <laughs> the choice is yours. I think it's it may money very money well money. be your last. And to my faithful children, you are why I have returned. You are the reason I have left the bliss of my father's heaven to establish a new and everlasting heaven for you. I am pleased that you have kept the faith this long. It has not been easy, I know. Yet I am deeply saddened by what has been done in my name. I freed you from the bondage of the law bondage. of Moses bondage. and replaced it with the bondage. law of love. So simple were my oh, two the commandments. Love now. our father, love each other. <laughs> and you have failed terribly. And that is why, regrettably, I must judge you as well. Those of you who profess obedience to me, who call yourself Christian, I challenge your logic. Logic? logic. How have you demonstrated my love by accusing people, burning them, torturing them? He was literally just them. talking about burning what and drowning is most and torturing regrettable people. Is the fact that you completely underestimate your adversary. That is why you have been tricked into worshipping those who murdered your lord. You will that is also why you have read. done such despicable things in the name of God. <laughs> so many of you have sworn to me to abide in me and my teachings, and yet you have not. <laughs> me and my teachings. You have wasted, tarnished my blessings and my sacrifice, sacrifice for you. I suffered greatly to give you life, and in repayment you kill in my name for my cause? For my I cause? I think not. I will be doing the killing. My name you. is the cause of justice. And <coughs> for that sake, I will return to you in measure that which you have done for me. Oh. Prepare yourselves. Come to me if you seek genuine forgiveness. If your heart is heavy with guilt, with true repentance, repentance. and not simply fear, Come to me. You may seek protection under my wings. Okay. But it goes know this. on and on. I wonder how many takes that it took him. I if you listen cut. carefully, it has been cut yeah. lots and lots. <laughs> yeah, he beat the shit out of his wife. <laughs> yeah, but he's come back. <laughs> As Jesus it's Christ. Just... I am your Lord and Saviour. Worshipping... <laughs> Oh, wow. Lord Rael. He, sound, he sounds like a very... He sounds like a very...
very nice guy. I don't know if I stopped recording or not. <laughs> I should imagine it won't be long before he's back in prison. I wouldn't have thought so. He had like 150,000 views on that video. Seriously? Who finds that kind of video? I have no idea. I want to find more. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, like I said, I got that off, of a YouTube, uh, off a podcast that was taking a piss out of it. All right, then. Would you like to hear some crazy, crazy medical codes? Go for it. All right. The World Health Organization sets a list of medical conditions into well-used code called the International Statistical Classification of Diseases and Related Health Problems. That's not a mouthful at all, is it? Or ICD for short. <laughs> The official alphanumeric ciphers are used in medical records and insurance claims worldwide, noting the wide range of ailments and conditions a human may experience. Everything from tuberculosis... I'm really sorry for my really loud breathing, by the way. (laughs) Everything from tuberculosis and gastric ulcers to struck by orca and burn due to water skis on fire. The latter categories of unusual and puzzlingly specific conditions are e- even inspired the 2014 book Struck by Orca, ICD-10, illustrated. Okay, so I shall find this. Uh, the most bizarre ICD codes were listed in the book, the title Struck by Orca. Uh, codes just slightly less bizarre were used, some quite a lot. <laughs> Such as W503, <coughs> accidental bite by another person. <laughs> accidental. Yeah. Okay. Uh, la, la, la. The Right, so the database found... I think this is in a year. Hold on. La, da, 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 la, 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 la. Okay, yeah, to get the answer, the company called Amino swept through his ex- extensive healthcare data... So I think it's the whole data. Yeah. Amino found that 25,500 people experienced a W2203, which is code for walked into furniture. People actually had (laughs) W2203 put on their medical record. (laughs) Somebody went to the doctor's or the hospital. I walked into the couch. (laughs) Walking into furniture. In the same vein... 17,200 Americans walked into walls and 400 walked into a lamppost. Perhaps with all our eyeballs glued to phones and tablets these days, the oblivious walking accidents aren't surprising, which is fair enough. But barnyard animals have (laughs) less of an excuse. In the last year, 1,700 people showed up with the W5522, struck by cow. Hang on, struck by cow. Struck, struck by, struck cow. by cow. And 200 had W6132, struck by chicken. How do you get struck? <laughs> <laughs> More understandable, 700 people had W5511, bitten by horse. And there were 300 W5541s, bitten by pig. Don't go near a fucking pig. In a head-scratcher, there were 10,600 W503s, accidental bite by another human. 10,600. Oh, oh man, he accidentally bit me. (laughs) How? While the use of accidental is a bit puzzling there, the ICD codes were a little more clear in their use of the word contact. For instance, 2,200 patients had W294. Contact with nail gun. <laughs> <laughs> and there were 3,400 W28s. Contact with powered lawnmower. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, whopping 8,900 people had W2 to 70 contact with a workbench tool. And some 600 people showed up with a W261 contact with sword or dagger. <laughs> 
I'm not sure contact <laughs> is the word to use in that context. You didn't become Facebook friends. <laughs> Could have plunged into your gut. All right. It's going to send him a poke. <laughs> 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 That's a bit of an old Facebook. Uh... Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> okay, I've got three left. Three left. I've got none left. None so. left. Would you like? I'll give you the choice: Kinder eggs, out of control pensioners, or ghost hunters. I'm really intrigued as to what story there is about Kinder eggs. Okay, Kinder eggs it is. <laughs> Most guys, or I'll, I'll, do, I'll try and do it like a CNN guy, okay? Because it's National Post. Most guys are trying to get out of the notorious Ottawa jail. I like how every American is southern to you. Was that southern? <laughs> it's the only accent I can do. <laughs> Mo- most guys are trying to get. Mo- <laughs> That's fifties <50's> dad. <laughs> hey there, Sonny. <laughs> Most guys are trying to get out of the notorious Ottawa jail, but not young Damien O'Reilly. He was uh, actually pretty desperate to get inside the Ottawa Carlton Detention Center after, after, <laughs> after hatching a drug smuggling plot that would see marijuana sold to inmates for ten times its street value. Ten times? All he had to do was find a crack in the system. Some he's sh- crack <laughs> exactly <laughs> no pun intended some sure fire way of getting arrested and jailed and it had to be quick for O'Reilly age 20 had hooped not one not two but eight kinder surprise <laughs> eggs filled with marijuana tobacco matches and rolling papers before setting out to get arrested on June 19th, 2016. That's got to be uncomfortable. <laughs> the Italian chocolate egg treat that comes with a toy inside. <laughs> chocolate, brackets, chocolate. Assembly acquired. <laughs> is one of the most popular ways of smuggling contraband into Canadian jails. The yolk-coloured plastic capsule that holds the surprise toy is thin. I nearly went southern again then. <laughs> it's thin and flexible, making it easier to hoop. A jail term for inserting contraband into your rectum. What is it? Hooped? Get it through the oop. Ah, uh, okay, right. I'm assuming. There's a fucking advert. O'Reilly figured the quickest way to get arrested would be to throw a rock at a police cruiser in front of the <laughs> courthouse. Say that, you bastard. And sure enough, he got the job done in minutes flat. It helped that he was already on probation, so when he was arrested, he was held for bail and shipped off to the old Inns Road Jail. But that is where his plot unraveled. It is not known if the guard noticed O'Reilly was in some discomfort, (laughs) but whatever the reason, the guard had suspicions that O'Reilly might be smuggling drugs. The young inmate was escorted to dry cell number nine. A dry cell has no plumbing, and guards will either attempt to seize the contraband or wait for it to be expelled. Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. In this case, it was O'Reilly himself who, once alone in the dry cell, removed eight Kinder Surprise eggs from his rectum. A guard had to then collect the eggs and photograph them before securing them inside the Ottawa police drug safe at the jail. In all, the eight eggs contain 59 grams of marijuana, a <coughs> gram of MDMA, tobacco, rolling papers, and matches. O'Reilly pleaded guilty to drug trafficking and was sentenced Monday to two years, less 250 days credited for pretrial custody. How much... How many fags... Sorry, how many cigarettes would you actually be able to roll from a kinder rig full of tobacco? Prison rollies. 20. Really? Prison rollies is really... You're basically just smoking the paper. Oh, okay. And roll them really thin and tight. Okay, right. Normal rollies. Yeah, and you get like... About five. Yeah, I was going to say, you wouldn't get many out of them, would you? Ten at most. <clears throat> Defence lawyer Paolo Giantaseri Nioloblio 
<laughs> Defense lawyer something Mexican praised his young client's efforts to improve himself since his arrest. Damian has been working hard to turn his life around. He's a young man who is aiming to be a productive member of our community when he is released. What did you not do the donkey story like that? Said. What? Why didn't you do the donkey story like that? <laughs> Sometimes it just comes out. If I tried to do that, it would sound Southern American. A year earlier, a year earlier in 2009, and also at the Ottawa jail, inmate Gregory Ingram, 33, choked on a Kinder Surprise egg filled with drugs and later died at hospital. <laughs> That's not funny, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> he must have had some pretty strong shit in there. It was a strip search at the Inns Row Jail that led to his death in the early morning. Oh, this is where it gets good. I remember reading this part. I thought this part was here somewhere. It was a strip search at the Inns Row Jail that led to his death in the early morning hours of June 21st, 2009. The guards noticed that he reached into his underwear and then brought a closed fist to his mouth, oh. according to an inquest. <laughs> it was obvious that he was trying oh. to hide the drugs in his mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he didn't die of the drugs. Paramedics later discovered that the yellow plastic egg lodged... Why do they keep saying the, ye the yolk plastic egg? <laughs> was lodged in his throat. They were able to remove it, but not before Ingram's brain was deprived of oxygen long enough to be left in a permanent vegetative state. He died three years later. He died three years later? Three days. Oh, three days. I was going to say. They kept Sorry, I'm life... pretty sure I did say years. <laughs> I did say they kept him on life support for three <laughs> years. <laughs> All right. Well, that's quite a journey we've been on. He pulled an egg out of his anus <laughs> Put and it shoved it down his, his throat. There's two left. Ghosts or old people? <laughs> we made the same thing. <laughs> They're interchangeable. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. G give me the best one. Whatever. Whatever you fancy. Well, I'm on the old people. All right, go for the old people. Then. Out of control pensioners fined for hotel rampage. Staff and guests were forced to flee after two out-of-control pensioners rampaged through a Highland Perthshire Resort hotel, a court heard. Robert Fergus, 72, ran naked with a pair of scissors in the public reception of the McDonald's <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Emphasise, with scissors. With scissors. Ran naked with a pair of scissors in the public reception of the McDonald Lock Rannock Hotel and smashed a glass pane. Oh my good lord. His wife, Ruth, 69, threatened to shoot a staff member after reacting badly to the alcohol she consumed earlier. <laughs> the couple were fined £4,100 at Perth Sheriff Court. Mr. Fergus from Troon. That's Troon. That's <laughs> English there. Troon. Was also ordered to pay the hotel £800 compensation to cover the cost of the damage from the incident on 4th of February. He admitted behaving in a threatening and abusive manner towards four staff members, willfully destroying the property and drink driving. Sounds like a hell of a night. <laughs> I cannot see. The court heard how Mr. Fergus used the scissors to cut communications cables at the hotel reception <laughs> and was eventually caught drunk at the wheel of his BMW. No clothes on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go for a cruise. He was observed to he was observed to have a pair of scissors. Mrs. Fergus said, I'm going to get the gun and shoot you <laughs> At staff member, Miss Titkova. Oh I would like to meet her. On seeing the scissors, Miss Titkova shouted at the other staff and guests to run. <laughs> Cause widespread panic. They saw Mr. Fergus pick up a sign and smash a glass pane with it. <laughs> Mr. Fergus then ran through the foyer, telling witnesses he would slit and kill them. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's extreme. Solicitor Ewan Cameron for Mr. Fergus said he consumed much more alcohol than was sensible. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's all right then. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That's fine. Oh, that's got to be more than just alcohol. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's got to be some drugs mixed in there somewhere, surely. You can't just go on a mass round page. I'm going to slit and kill you. <laughs> oh, Christ. That's uh Wow, that's a story to end the, the show on. No, it's not. Oh, no, we've still got something. One left. One left. One left, guys and gals. A group of ghost hunters were trawling a cemetery in Hull for paranormal activity. Was it given? Go to where the dead people are buried? You when know? they stumbled on. <gasps> Much more than they bargained for. Oh, no. Local historian Mike Cavell, or Cavell, was leading a tour through a graveyard near Skullcoats Lane in Hull when they were shocked to hear spooky groans <laughs> further down the path. I've got a feeling I know where this story's going. <laughs> Rather than finding ghostly apparitions or troubled spirits, <laughs> the group found a man and a woman having intercourse with two <laughs> men filming them. <laughs> oh dear. It was the couple who saw us first. They were going at it like knives among the ivy. She was a blonde. Because <laughs> her being brunette would make any kind of difference. We looked at her and she looked at us. Then she pushed the block off her. The guy ran after her, desperately trying to protect his privates from the brambles. <laughs> One elderly man was so incensed he was ready to chase after him with his walking stick, but I persuaded him to calm down and eat his sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> the cemetery is a regular haunt for paranormal enthusiasts who hope to see the spirit of Henry the Monk guarding the crisps. Crisps? Guarding the crisps. <laughs> Christmas. Get away from the walkers! <laughs> or poet laureate Philip Larkin, keeping watch. Luckily, they were no, there were no children in Covell's tour group. However, the locals were concerned for their own offspring. Why would they be letting their children run, run around, around graveyards yeah, at night? Especially at night time. If there were people walking with their children around the graveyard and they saw something like that, it would be pretty terrible local resident totally oh, hey, fucking nose in the grave in Darcy <laughs> but yet finding a ghost wouldn't exactly. mess, a, mess a child up I I have got a little boy and I wouldn't want him seeing that I would know I wouldn't know what to do it's not very nice to see at all she was the lady on the bottom <laughs> <laughs> and that my friends is the end of this yes. beautiful saga yes well I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. The world is a disgusting place. Um, yeah, well, it is. Visit Zeus Truth. Find out the truth that he's trying to tell <laughs> me because we can't work it out. Kneel down for Lord Rael or he will send a flood our way. Yes, now obviously. Don't if... rape donkeys. <laughs> well, you can rape donkeys as long as they don't have rabies. And you don't shoot them afterwards. You don't shoot them after and then just bury them. Because it's, vic it's victim blaming. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. Um, we, I realise we should have said about an hour and 15 minutes ago, I am Bam. Uh, and, and I am TC. But I'll put our names on there. Yeah, right okay, there. yeah. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Yeah, send us links yep. to all the weird stuff you can find. Like and subscribe. Go on Twitter at snuff underscore club, hashtag meatballs. Snuff club is our new network that we're going to be doing lots of different videos for. Meatballs is this show. Yes. We're going to be covering all the weird <laughs> stuff you can think of. Yeah, there's a Facebook group, uh, Meatballs Video Podcast. Yeah. So, so check that out. Um, and oh, again, leave yeah. links and stuff on and there. And if you, if you want to, email us at snuffclub at hotmail.com. And we will surely put your name in there somewhere yeah, if you send if, us a link and we you, use yeah, it or if whatever you do, so. if you do send us anything we'll we'll, ne we'll name drop you yeah for the courtesy ha <laughs> ha and 
for all you fucking weirdos out there <laughs> just please keep doing what you're doing yeah because if it wasn't for you we wouldn't be doing what we're doing if it wasn't for you I would be so sad Those <laughs> and lonely make me so happy that people live like that but yeah check us again next month and peace out that's a terrible way to win the show <laughs> that's staying in <laughs>